All right, hello, hello, and welcome back, you guys. Uh, this is part two of our WordPress um, design dashboard tour, blah, 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 blah. Now, last time I wasn't able to type on my screen, and for some reason it was messing up. Let me see. This is basically the structure that I was telling you about. So you want to copy that down when it comes to your permalinks. Your permalinks um, create your URL. So um, when I say that, let me bring up my little notepad here. Here. <clears throat> so we have HTTP. Um, what is mine? iMogul Television dot com slash now the slash is where your custom permalink structure comes in if you have a post that's called uh, beauty it's going to be beauty dot insights um, and that's what you want you that's what you want your permalink to look like you don't want it to have a bunch of numbers if you look up here um, or if you go to a blog post let's go to a one of those um, I think we already deleted it. But anyways, you want a nice clean um, URL whenever you create a, a blog post or a page. So you want it to be simple like this. You just want it to be your your main um, web URL slash whatever the name of the title of your blog post or your page. And that's what this permalink does, this permalink structure does. It's backslash, percentage, post name, percentage, backslash. Okay, so I just wanted to make sure that you guys got that tip before we move on. So really quick, let's talk about themes. Now I'm going to demonstrate a theme that I've never used. So we're going to start designing and, dis dis um, and um, demonstrating a theme that I'm not familiar with. And so that way you know that I know your pain. I understand what it's like when you're first getting your website up and you're trying to um, create a theme and create your website. And you're dealing with every theme is different on how you know certain um, things are added or, or taken away or how your images are put on or how big your banner is and blah, blah, blah. So we're going to choose a theme. Now, there's two kinds of themes. There's your free themes, which WordPress offers. And I think you can... I think if you click the add new theme, it gives you a bunch of themes that you can choose from. Okay. And you can and these are all free. So there's two kinds of themes. You have your free themes and then you have your premium themes. Now, in the beginning, there's nothing wrong with using a free theme. Um, but you don't want to stay that way and the reason is is because it's just uh, they don't update those themes very often and sometimes you might have incompatibilities as the as the months and weeks and, and days go on uh, because the theme is has not been updated or the uh, coding has not been updated so you don't want to stay with a free theme you want to use a premium theme at some point because those are updated and you have that support there you have their customer service support if you have any problems with the theme and it's just um, more professional and you can usually buy a theme you can buy a theme e anywhere from two twenty dollars to a hundred dollars um, of course the more expensive the better but that's you know just how it works so there's a lot of really cool th uh, free themes that I see on here and I'm thinking about the I want to choose the easiest one right now to try and uh, configure and I think I'm gonna go with I think I'm gonna go with this envision one right here let's look at the details and see what that's gonna look like now that's what your post will look like this is what your sidebar is gonna look like when you choose this theme this is the size of your images when you create an image for your theme so just take note of that when you're picking a theme of how your posts are gonna look let's go out of there and choose to look let's look at this one over here the Asteria and see what the posts are going to look like. This is the front page. Okay, and then it gives you some little blurbs that you can add. That's pretty cool. And a little bar, title bar. Check out portfolio. Gives you a lot of little added things. And let's go out of there. We'll check, we'll look at one more theme and see what. Let's look at. 
what is this called? In evolve. Let's look at evolve and see what that theme is going to look like. And obviously, uh, obviously, it's giving you kind of a small banner area. I don't really like the small banner areas. Um, these, you know, you're going to obviously change the wording and change these um, icons to meet the needs of your theme. This is kind of a messy looking theme. What this is would be your front page, and they have your sidebar. This is your sidebar, and then this is the main area where it has diff, um, all your different um, posts showing up there, and images and things like that. So I think I'm going to go with the the first theme, the eVision e corporate theme. So let's install that and see what that looks like. Okay, it's already installed. Let's look at the live preview one more time. See what we're working with here. Okay, so uh, I kind of like the sidebar area. It's bold. I like this little color bar there. And this is um, as you as your this is as your blog role would look, and you would have the different blogs rolled here and I kind of like that so let's go ahead and we have our site identity where we changed that in settings we added our tagline we can click in the enable tagline if you want to add that to your header there uh, what does it say site icon if you have an icon that you want to add let me see if I can find an icon it won't be there because I don't have any let's see if I can find an icon that I can add I don't know if I have anything on this computer. Uh, you know what, we're just going to ignore that. But if you have an icon, you can just use that uh, just by selecting files. Um, do you want an, a logo, which to me it's the same thing. You can select your image there. Okay, so let's just save that. I'm not going to do anything else there. Let's go back here and we'll go back to themes because we want to keep configuring it. Let's go to customize. We want to keep customizing the theme. So what kind of colors? I kind of like the colors as they are. I do like muted colors. The background color I'm going to keep white. I don't like a whole lot going on on my site, but if you prefer to have a color on your site, you know, we can see what that looks like by clicking the color selector. Say if you want yellow, it's going to look like that. If you want blue, it's going to look like that. I prefer to just stick with plain old everyday white. We'll save and publish, and they're not giving you a lot of options there in the colors area, so that's easy. So let's click the little area, and how about a background image? Do you want a background image? Let's see what that looks like. I think I can find an image just to test it. Um, with background images, you, you have to be careful because, well, basically you want it to be more faded. You don't want it to be bold. It's kind of, it gets a little distracting. I would choose not to use a background image unless it's in sections and it's muted. Let's see if I can find an image here. Okay, uh, we're back. I had some technical uh, difficulties, and anytime for whatever reason, there's my computer is outdated. So anytime I try and pull from my pages, or I'm sorry, from my folders to create to pull a picture, the uh, my whole Google crashes, and I have to you know reload and reboot and all that wonderful stuff. So unfortunately I'm not going to be able to add any images. I don't want to keep crashing but I think you kind of get the idea of um, creating your when you design your your theme. You're just going to hit customize and it's going to bring up this thing and you can pretty much do it and do it as is. So I'm not going to put an image. Obviously I don't like images anyway. So we have um, menu location you can do menus from here we haven't it, we haven't set up any menus menus yet so we're just gonna ignore that one okay and then we have widgets we haven't set up any widgets yet and then we have the front page which is our that is our right now is our blog role so we're 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 gonna add a front page in a later video and then we have some more options here theme option we have layout 
We have content primary sidebar, which is already uh, which is already configured. Then we have a no with sidebar, and I'll show you what that looks like. Don't like that. Content primary sidebar is what we started with, and then primary sidebar comment or content. It's pretty much the same thing, but I'm going to go with what we had here, and we're just going to save that that's how the layout will look. On some themes you're able to put the sidebar to the left or the right we won't worry about that. Then we have the footer configuration you can actually change your footer information here and we'll just put copyright iMobile to television. So it's pretty cool you can just change that. You can enable your social icons and it'll give you an area in this particular theme where you can enable the social icons by assigning them. So um, I'm not going to do that now. We're just going to save that. And we're going to go over to the next CSS. If you know CSS, then you can um, enter your custom CSS here. Um, then we have the static front page right now like I said we have it on your latest post so if if you're going to create a static front page you need to make pages first so that you can um, select the pages that are going to be your home page and we haven't done that yet so we're going to keep that as your latest post we'll just save that again and then any important links that you want to add here this is um, this is um, basically this is determined by the theme not all themes will add this important link section but you can play around with it if you decide to play with this particular um, theme I'm just giving you an I just want to give you an overview of basically how you do how you're gonna customize your themes and usually it's about the same each theme is different but you're gonna usually customize them through this little sidebar here alright so let's go out of there and so we've chosen our theme let's just do a quick page and we're gonna we're going to configure our home we're gonna create a home page okay so let's just edit this page and we're gonna title title it home page we'll just leave the text there too it doesn't matter oops hope page page and we're just going to update that and then we need to add this home page to our menu so we're going to go over to appearance and then menu um, we'll give it the primary oops, primary menu and hit create new menu and then this is the home page that we just made and we're going to add that to the menu. We're going to check over here to menu locations. Oops, stay on this page. Make sure you always save your save it. Uh, menu manage locations of that menu and we want it to be on the front page as your primary. So you want to make sure that you so once you create your menu, you want to select it we're not going to do the inner pages or anything like that so we'll just save pages there and we'll go back to edit menu now we can either go to customize or we can go to settings where we saw um, how you're going to set your home page as your front page and I think that was under reading I always always forget that one yes it's under reading so we want to make a static page and we want your front page to be the home page and this should be empty. We just keep that at select. And then we'll hit save changes. And then let's look at, let's visit the site and see if that worked. All right, that's your homepage. It's got a lot of crazy text because that was what the text was. Um, and your home page also has a sidebar. Let's see if we can take off the sidebar. Um, you don't always have to, but sometimes you want to. Um, and here's your menu bar. We have one menu so far, but this so far it worked. 
Now, what about the blog page? We need to we need to customize the blog page. So what you want to do is go to your dashboard and we're going to create a page for the blog. Now, every every theme is different on how this is set up, but it's well, I wouldn't say completely different. There's some variations of it. Um, so this is what I know and I'm going to see if it's going to work. We're going to create another page and, and call it blog or you can call it whatever you want. Hit add new page and we'll call it blog. All right? We're not going to add anything up there. We're just going to publish it. And then we're going to go back to the menu bar. Go to appearances and go to the menu. Right, and now we have a blog page that we want to add to the menu. And we want to make sure that we save the menu. Okay, now we're going to go back to settings, to our reading area. And we're going to choose the post page as blog. And then hit save changes. On my theme, this is left blank for because that's the way that theme is configured. So let's go back and look at our site and then if we click blog let's see where that takes us nothing found because you don't have any posts yet so let's let's put a quick post let's go back to the uh, dashboard and we're gonna hit add new post so that we can see what that looks like and we'll hit this is a new post and let's find some, uh, do we have any text that I can use? It's some, do we have any, it's some lorem. This is your, when you're just, this is the um, visual editor here. And if you click on that toggle, that's more, I'm sorry, that's different. Let's, I'm gonna get, show you a plugin you can use to make that. Um, Okay, so I found I went and grabbed uh, a post from one of my other sites, and we're just going to paste that in here, and we're going to. Um, I'm not going to add an image because if I try and add an image, unfortunately, it's going to crash on me, and I apologize for that. So we went ahead and we updated it, or I should say we published it, and we're going to keep this format at standard. You can actually just hide that one. The categories page um, right now is at uncategorized. So what we want to do is we want to create a category. So let's go over here to categories and we'll create um, new, we'll just call it new category. And the slug usually does it by itself and you can keep all this you don't worry about this. You'll once you get into um, doing your post, you want to add a little description for SEO reasons. But we're just going to add new category for time, and then we're going to go over here to our post. Go back to this as a new post and edit it, and we're going to create our. We're going to add our new category. Unpost that. Add new category. Um, this is where you put your tags. It's basically words separated by a comma. So I could say new post, new post, comma, uh, energy, that's what this is, boosters, comma. You don't necessarily need to we'll make that one word and you just add, and that's where you're going to add your tags at. Your featured image. This is where you're going to pull your images from. You can you can either pull it from here. Normally, no matter where you pull it, your thumb your your theme should pull the thumbnail. So if you create your image here and then you go look at the site, your image should be displayed. Or if you just go directly into the um, site. I wonder. Can I hold on one second? All right, so here's what we're going to try. I'm going to try and uh, that. copy this image. Is it going to let me copy it? It's not going to let me paste it. Oh, there it is. Okay, so there is an image. So let's see what, let's update that. Now this is obviously not the best design in the world, 
but you get the overall gist of what we're doing, I'm sure. So let's go ahead and view this post and see what that looks like, see if the picture shows up. Okay, so it looks pretty much just like what you, um, the back end of it. All right, so we have our new category showing in the categories area, and we have our first post. So let's go over to, uh, why is it not showing the, the menu? Now there is, there is the question. Okay, so that's just the post. Let's go visit the site really quick. And we're going to go to the blog and see if it's in our blog role now. Okay, so it's in our blog role. And we're, we'll need to configure how we want this to look like if we want this to be a type, an H1 uh, um, tag, which means a bigger font. Um, it's supposed to only be giving me. It's supposed to be only giving me the um, a summary instead of the whole post. So we're gonna have to go back in and configure that. Like I said, this is a new one for me as well. If we go to the home page, let's check out that home page again. Let's configure the home page real quick and see if we can remove that um, sidebar. You don't necessarily have to, but sometimes design-wise, I would prefer to uh, remove that. And then that's going to be the last thing we do in this video because I don't want this to go too long. Let's see if it gives us an option here, which I don't see. Yeah, it doesn't give us an option to if I want to get rid of the sidebar or not. That's okay, no worries. No worries. So let's end that. So we configured a post and we finished configuring uh, the home page and the settings here for having your home page as your static page. It should give me a summary. I'm not sure why that is, but I will look into that and we will continue designing the website on the next video. Okay, so thanks again for joining me and I'll see you on the next video.